Hi, I am Steph Wendler. I am a jazz musician, jazz artist, and um, I've been getting questions about why I don't have the same music on Bandcamp um, as I have on Spotify. There's a reason that I have certain stuff on Bandcamp and certain stuff on the streaming sites. This video is going to be explaining why that is. Because my strategy in music, especially as a jazz artist and a jazz musician who happens to be female, has to look at the wider perspective. What is this move or my having my music on this site or this other site, what is this going to do for me strategically? So the way that I look at it is this, you know, in music in general, the art of stealing other people's work is, uh, it's pretty deep. It's pretty deep. What my strategy about being a songwriter and being a composer and being an arranger is, is I look at it like a fashion designer, right? So if you buy something from um, a really famous fashion designer, right? Say Gucci or Dior or Givenchy, no matter who wears those clothes, everybody knows who designed those clothes. And the designer is still given credit and known as the person who created this piece of art that is on somebody else's body, right? So that's the way I look at music. That's the way I look at my songs. Pe I, people are not gonna write tunes the way I write tunes. They're just not. They like, no, I'm not gonna write tunes the way anybody else writes tunes and nobody's gonna write tunes the way I write them. It's just sort of the nature of the beast, so to speak. All of the tunes that I have on Bandcamp are tunes that are at what I call the zero level. So those tunes that I have on Bandcamp are literally the first recording of the song I wrote, right? So no matter who plays it, no matter who rearranges it, no matter whatever, that is the zero level of that song. The tunes that I have on Spotify, those tunes are not at the zero level. Those tunes are one, two, three levels up. Like I've remixed tunes that I wrote at the zero level that I haven't put on Bandcamp yet. And I separate the two of them for a particular reason. Because when people go to Bandcamp, they are going to hear the pure stuff version. A lot of those tunes that I have on Bandcamp are literally me and a piano, singing it live. Just literally straight up playing and singing it live. So my strategy is pretty important in, in my opinion, because there is such a long history of people stealing music. And also, if you're gonna play my tune, I want everyone to know, just like everybody knows if something is Gucci or Dior or Givenchy or whatever, I want everybody to know that that is my tune and I wrote it because it has the quality of a Steph tune. That's why I separate them because you will hear on Bandcamp my purest thoughts musically, right? Um, if you have any questions or anything or you want to talk about anything like leave it in the comments um i'd love to hear what your thoughts are and um thank thank you for your time yeah